Right. I like it. <laughs> I like it too. There's also other worse than it. I mean, there's a lot better Jefferson here playing Jefferson. All right, I got Starship. it. Time right oh, now. Man. Cool. <laughs> so Jefferson right. Starship. Well, they, they, they were Jefferson Airplane. They were just Airplane. Oh, that's right. Party's going on. You are seated next to Telno. Or Telno is seated next to you, I guess, technically. My favorite so, thing ever is I'm uh, at the head of the table. They named uh, some in Supernatural. They everybody is have having a good time. Enemy. Like, These guys are, are seated relatively starships. close by. Uh, they're mean, annoying, and hard is, to kill. Because he can't get drunk, he's, he's really just hanging out. Just ever watchful. Um, what do you do? Need to see if I have this spell. It's pretty loud. Yeah, that's that's what I'm looking for. I think I have this. You mean like thaumaturgy? Yeah, I have thaumaturgy. To make your voice booming? It's like, I'm going to try a couple times. Can we please have some... Can, yeah. can we please... Thaumaturgy. Oh, what, what, what's the spell from Harry Potter? Uh, yeah, the one where he, like, where he touches his throat. Yeah. <clears throat> Shit, I know that spell. Oh, well. It's like, shut it! In the crowd <laughs> silences. Thank you! Turn the spell off so I'm not shouting. <laughs> yeah. And uh, get down on, down in front of Tella on one knee. She's, she's pretty toasty too. She's, she's, <laughs> she's, 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 she's just kind of like. She's, she's surprised and confused. And I reach into my belt pouch and pull out the ring. This has been a long time in coming. <laughs> you know, that like classic. <sighs> and nothing would make me happier than to have ye as me wife and me queen. She like tackles you. <laughs> Oof! <Yeah, queen. laughs> Crown yes. bounces off. Oh, queen! <laughs> Screams yes. And, uh, you know, good kiss, lots of kisses. Stand up with our, with our hands up. We're getting married! And the crowd erupts. Yeah. The crowd is. Drinks for going, everybody! Going They're already there. free, but okay. Like, Next <laughs> round's on me! I grab a keg of beer and just hold it up. Well, toast! It <laughs> 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 <You> just. <Yeah. laughs> starts just chugging and. You like, chug the whole keg? Yeah. So I just, just like okay, get it there and. Save. I got that. Give him the finger. It's like, hold on. Uh, that's uh, 16. Damn, man. <laughs> you get plus nine. Yeah, plus nine. Plus nine. Barbarians. So, uh, that's a lot of fluid to intake all at once. Um, <laughs> you gotta pee a little bit to can, offset. You can feel yourself getting not necessarily drunk. All system the, like, the endeavor of cool. Cool. eating it's bad. Lots but of lots of these. So I can't stop. I just my tongue hurts. That's, I know that's you know. That, that's where I get every time I Nice. <laughs> uh she's all It's it's interesting to see because you don't see a lot of dwarves actually like cry. Right? It's not a frequent emotion. Uh, it happens, of course, but it's it's fairly rare, and it's it's nice, you know. Is her family one of those that that's on the thing? Uh, we never really assigned her a last name. I don't know that I have. We'll <laughs> say yes. Sweet, that that'll make it better. We'll come up with that later. Uh, I want to go around and <clears throat> try to harm myself. <laughs> we should arm wrestle. We take bets. Okay. So. But you're not allowed to call your strength I'm score. To call my strength score. <laughs> <laughs> you, um, you begin that process, right? And they're drunk enough that it's cool and fun. But I, like the first three people, three dwarves are all about it. Like, cool, man. If you just crack them because you call your strength score, the strength checks. She's 29. <laughs> uh, they can't get that. There's no way that they can reach that. Uh, <clears throat> like literally like slamming people and they're like flipping head over heels. Yeah. Uh, <clears throat> so it's not something that happens for a very long time. They, they're just like, <laughs> no. Uh, Do I have a dwarf named Mongo with 30 strength? <laughs> <laughs> Mongo! 
Give me a percentile roll. Okay. I know I have a percentile around here somewhere. No, that's the wrong one. There it is. Yeah. <clears throat> 50 exactly. You sure don't. <clears throat> oh, well. You like this music? Yeah, it's really good. Technically, if I got a natural 20, I'd hit a 29. To match it? Yeah, I could match him. <laughs> <laughs> Cast enhance ability on myself for strength. <laughs> that would be like a super long battle. battle. Because just never ends. <laughs> if you kept rolling 20s, he can just call 29s. It's like a stalemate for one after round. The odds of that maintaining would be very high. I'd probably get one or two and then I'd be down. Yeah. They all establish that you're a very strong individual. <laughs> yes. I forget. Now, party begins to dwindle down around, you know, three in the morning, kind of a thing. Um, they all stumble off, if they were able to stumble off. Some of them are just passed out at the tables. As a proper dwarven party should be. Uh-huh. Um, <clears throat> and Sai <coughs> just hanging out. He's good. <laughs> He's, he's always the DD now, because he can't get drunk. <laughs> well, my uh, chamber's lavish. Do I have, like, human skin rugs in front of the fireplace? I can't bear skin rugs, obviously, so... No! Oh. <laughs> Are you terrifying? <laughs> yeah, I don't no. think you do. Dude. Malefice could probably get you some. <laughs> if you wanted some. Let's the guy in the net. Let's talk to him. He would, he would know how to get that, for sure. <laughs> That's terrifying. Oh, he'd probably, like, try to court you. Be like, <laughs> like, oh, what you wait? Human skin rugs? Done. You got Evander it. Evander just walks in. Where's my skin? <laughs> <laughs> Ow, that would be... It's a done fam, what next? Oh my gosh, that would be horrific. <laughs> That's a good idea. <laughs> <laughs> You're welcome. That's... I would. I like You're to welcome. bring up another option. That would be <laughs> devastating damage. Like ridiculous. Flayed alive. Anyway. <laughs> and you're dead. So the question Alpain. is: Alpain. Uh, is the wedding going to happen very quickly, or are you going to go do some other things first? I'd say give her some time to prepare. Okay. Maybe go hit the city of brass. Come back. <laughs> Right. City of Brass. Well, it's either that or the South Pole or the Tomb of Horrors. One of three options. I mean, talk about it. Do we all have enough sure for fire resistance thingies? We have them over there. You could probably get them. I can't remember. For some reason, I think we had something. Uh, somebody bought some potions. That might be another group, though. Oh, all kinds of potions, but not fire resistance. You can try to find Sven. You can try to track him down. Can we borrow that tank again? Hmm? This shop that turns oh. into a tank? <laughs> can we borrow that again? We don't know. I doubt it. So this has been a few more days, uh, so you've got about 25 more days or so uh, before the mech is finished. I don't have fire resistant stuff, I have fire giant bones. Don't know why. I've been you, collecting body parts lately. Because <laughs> you, you took them. I also collect body parts. Let's make a Frankenstein monster. <laughs> Your, your buddy Malefice could probably help with that. Oh, Wait, I have shit! The, I have the recipes to make flesh I golems. have the manual. Yeah. Manual of golems? Yeah. I Chain don't... golems. I have a recipe to make flesh golems. I it so up what, what can I do with this? You can have the Forge Master start working on the constituent parts of it. 
I'm gonna give it to the Forge Master. Let, let's get some guards. He takes the book, and, because uh, it doesn't really have like a, a fancy title or anything like that on the book itself. And he opens it up and starts looking through it, and his eyes grow big, and he gets really kind of like, he's <laughs> like, I, these will be great. I would have done stone for Arusha, but these just look so cool. I, <laughs> I'm excited. Take whatever you need from the stores and get to work. I, well, there are dwarves working the mines again. Dude, mithril chain golem. It took <laughs> nice. It took a little bit of doing to go deeper into the mines and clear out the things that were living in it, but. You have the Order of the Tainted Blood. They had us. They had us too. I mean, I was there. we would have helped a little so, bit. So yeah. I mean, like they. They all. Actually, you know, in. for the wedding, I want to wait until the Hall of Heroes is finished so we can have it in there. Oh, nice. Okay. That sounds cool. I dig that. Dope. All right. Talk amongst yourselves. What are you going to do next? Would I be able to make potions of fire resistance? Mm. Theoretically. That's, uh, it's an alchemist kind of thing. The fire resistant potions. You're not really trained in that. Do we have a court alchemist? No. Just the uh, easy fire. Not at present. I'm sure, Kagan got I'm a guy. Go hire one. Yeah. Okay. Hey, you make it. Kagan! You want to contact the guild and see if they have a good alchemist that can just really use sending? Help you out. Okay. We'll make a bunch of them. If you're getting your um, little up. You sending? Uh, you send it straight to Kagan. Yeah. Okay. Uh, he sends back. Uh, we'll send one over. Thank you. Work around the castle for a little while. I mean, do we want to go straight to to, to Plain of Brass? I mean, the City of Brass. <clears throat> you guys know that the city of brass is on the elemental plane of fire, right? So everything's fire, yeah. I'm a fire. Everything, I mean, you. It's about the it, it hurts it's a you. lot. What? Corey. Yeah. What race was your alchemist? <laughs> no, um. <coughs> half. Specifically, half drow. Oh, okay. Half death elf? Mm -hmm. oh, mythos. His, yeah, Mythos Usagi. Um, his, his father was then he was his father was an alchemist human who had been captured and held prisoner in by the death well, death elves. Um, oh, huh? fair enough. Yeah, and uh, yeah, as as their females tend to, uh, tend to do, so they partook. Partook and gotcha. one one bore child and it was him. Cool, cool, cool. Now, uh, are you gonna wait for your alchemist to show up? Yeah. Okay. Um, I know waiting's probably a bad idea, but we. Okay. Up to you guys. About five days later, in walks. Baba. I would assume that I've been it. I've been pulled into meeting after meeting for wedding plans. <laughs> Oh yes, uh, she she wants your input. She wants your input on many things. Um, in walks a very interesting looking individual. Uh, he is wearing uh, robes ish, kind of robe esque. Uh, he he uh, it's Mithos. He also has sunglasses. Which was something that he invented because it's not really a thing. Yeah, but that's true. Because he was born underground, and didn't really care for the the light differential. That's right. Well, so the, is he escorted in? I assume. Uh, no. He uh, he, he shows up. How did you get past me guards and who the bloody hell are you? Oh, that's fair. <laughs> I see what that you mean. That was, that I was, see what you mean. I'm in the throne room. I, I thought you meant, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. He's escorted by dwarf. Okay. It's like, so would you be the alchemist that we sent for? Yes. Good. And, uh, 
Keegan... I was held up a little bit because he wanted me to start making some things uh, for you guys. I've got some done already. I've got... Uh, he said, I don't know what you're doing, but I got two potions of fire resistance. So we're going Ready to need to more go. of those. Is Kagan before or after Siler? Has before. Killed us. Before? Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, speaking of which, that's a fun thing we could do. Mm -hmm. That's a good point. We'll talk about that later. <coughs> we'll get into that. So he can make, we're say, we'll say for the sake of uh, time purposes, um, he can make one fire resistance potion per day, right? Say it to you and it's his dad. Mm hmm? No. What? Never mind. I was going to say, I think the, the timelines or it doesn't oh. matter. It, it What's doesn't his matter. dad's name? Ewan. Why? Why you a n? Oh, okay, that's fine. Pre be, pre being captured. Bob, is cool. Imsh Because I'm pretty sure. Because I'm pretty sure if we played with a uh, oh. that one we did, Silo was guildmaster at the time. That's fair. That's fair. <coughs> you Okay, so it's, <coughs> it's a human, human individual. No sunglasses. Similar setup. <coughs> My sunglasses. I say we wait a day, and hit. And go. That way we have three potions. One for Evander, <clears throat> since he's a bit squishy. A little bit. Um, Unless you use that spell on me. <laughs> I, I meant for health purposes. Oh, yeah, I'm totally gonna die if I get two. Um, one for Imp, since he's usually up front. And one for myself, since I'm the one who's responsible for healing you. I think I can also cast resistance. It's like a first level spell. It's a cantrip. Oh, that's an added new form. Uh, if you're talking about protection from. Uh, it's like protection from energy or something. Yeah. I have protection from poison. I think only druids get the one that I'm thinking of. Yeah, they that's do. That's probably true. Alright. No, Any protection from energy is a third level spell. Any other prep that you wish to do before you go? Um, does Sven have our shit ready? What shit? The iron stones of attunement. <gasps> At this point... I think he said, what, Bob, what do you say? Are you like 10 days? Oh, that's right. That's right. Uh, okay, fair enough. So, the day before, let's see, Yuen Usagi shows up. You, I guess, get him a room or whatever, and he begins crafting potions for you. And you can work for us as long as you like. I'll pay you. Well. <laughs> And uh, I'll, I'll come up with the pricing of the potions here later. Not that it matters for you. No. It's just, I'm not even going to worry about it then. You just pay him. <laughs> throw money at him. Things things happen. I throw money at everything and yes. things happen now. Yes, yes you do. <laughs> I'm finally at the point in a D&D game where money's not an issue. Can we just hire a band of adventurers to do this quest for us? Let's this yeah, the I end. We could. <laughs> Higher chaos. The end no, of hand. the the day that, that you mentioned waiting, right? Um, there is a uh, sound coming from the entrance, uh, and you hear a lot of like dwarven voices raised, not in anger. But, but mostly in curiosity. And the noise is. I'm in the middle of picking out 
colors. It's like yeah. this one. <laughs> yeah. I don't know which yeah. one you want me to choose. Yeah. Uh, and the the sound is wagon wheels rolling into apple shop. Uh, How does he do that? And it is indeed Sven's wagon sitting on it. Is Sven and all of his glammy die race glory llama face goat face killer and uh <laughs> gentlemen where is where is King Ulfgar at that point you hear just pick the one you want <laughs> <laughs> a little bit because you didn't say King of Car that time, you know. But it's Sven. Nobody. Sven. No one's gonna fuck with him. We have much to talk about, my friend. Look at Tilma. So sorry. Got to run. Eh. I'll be back later and just gone. Just that <laughs> shot. Ran just away. Like... <laughs> <laughs> you do the death stare. <laughs> I picture uh, her as a small redhead, just to let you know. That's funny. That's really good. <laughs> I know. I know. I know about that. And he is indeed in his heavily magical wagon. That is, in fact, his shop. I must ask you, um, before we get into the, the, Scottish. the stones, what the- Sean Connery? Um, sh shut up. <laughs> he it's like a mixture, where mixture of Apu it's a Scotch and, and it's a Scotch Connery. It's a what Scotch Indian bl uh, blend. <laughs> Listen, no sass. Just, just like the finest I whiskey would like in a rug. I do business here. You're welcome to do it regularly. Okay. Yes. Yes. It's been your Excellent. god. You can do business anywhere. Don't listen to him. What? He doesn't know that yet. You're god. I am so. Your bear man friend confuses me. <laughs> He's weird. He Don't does worry. that to everyone. Imsh, you are such a strange fellow. You're god. Thank he really, you. He really likes you, apparently. <laughs> Thank you very much. In fact, I'm going to switch. I'm going to start worshiping you instead of whoever I worship right now. Okay. I'm doing it. Cool. So if you've I don't, faith, you've been pretty either. agnostic about it. He, we recently had a run-in with Arusha and uh, Malefice, and oh, he's been a bit weird with the Malefice religion. is not nice. No, he he's not. He sounds nice, though. He does. Have you met him? Well, yes. He buys things from me. What? <laughs> 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 like you're surprised. So he shops at Sven's Coffee House. Everyone shops at Sven's Coffee Shop. Everyone. No sass. <laughs> A lot of people like coffee. Nope. <laughs> Remember what happened last time one of us made that joke? I almost died. <laughs> no. So Sven's Coffee will kill you. Like. My that that turns into no. a god. <laughs> I do not make coffee. You do make fantastic muffins, though. Because my coffee is too strong for you, Trevor. How good job that? You do. You do make fantastic blueberry muffins. I do. There's a button in my shop that does it too. A muffin no. button? Muffin button. Yeah. <laughs> oh, muffin button. I do. What's a button? Are it's you? delightful. Are you the Muffin Man? No, but I do. Do you know <laughs> the Muffin Man? I do. The Muffin he, Man? He lives on Drury Lane. Yes, he does. Glad to see you planting. Anyway. <laughs> <laughs> so stupid. Oh my god. Moving on. We're so dumb. Uh, but we have fun here, and that's what matters. Excellent. My shop is open for all of you. 
Uh, oh yes. I look back at all the guards. When you have a break. <laughs> and he pulls out a little um, ornately you really embossed box. Yes. And he opens it up, and there are two identical stones. One, one for you. Ooh. One for you. Focus candy. I'm gonna give you the money for that. Two. I already gave him the money. I gave him the deposit when I bought the thing. I did not. Thank you very much. Thank you. Come again. Thank you. Come again. Can I get another one? No. No. You only have one slot. You. Yes, we're done. How much worth it? We'll be back. Later!